Uh, this is a super quick look at how to use Mentimeter to kind of run a really quick quiz assessment exit ticket with your students. So if you go to mentimeter.com, you need to sign in as a teacher with your Google Apps account, and that just makes sure you can save your quizzes. But Kids Access, similar to lots of other tools, Kids Access is just using a code on the screen. So just to step through an example, so click New Presentation, let's call it Test of Geography. And with the free account, you get limited to three questions you can ask in a quiz. But that seems to be, for me, that seems to be enough for an end of lesson, start of lesson, or just make lots of quizzes with three questions. Lots of question types, so I can give them a multiple choice, looks like this. I can give them options like apple, banana, like this, and... I can add, allow them to vote on more than one, so if it's a selection, if you want to get to vote for lots of different ones, down here, uh, press new slide over this side, and then I can add more questions. I call it the word cloud. I think it's a kind of a really clever way of doing it. You can might have seen it in high school meetings where we're just kind of putting in words in it, the word cloud expands over time. Or I like the open-ended option where it uh, shows the responses that students can put through in different ways. The other one I think is quite clever is the scales one. So when you get them to think about a judgment um, and you know, make, it, I think, make a solution, this could be um, you know, the solution to, to poverty. And they might get to, they can get to vote on different options and they get to choose on the scales and you can set it up so you can choose from one to five, etc. Uh, so just when you finish, you press present. Then the kids go to the screen. Down in the other corner, the sidebar allows you to go back. So I can hide the results. But actually, home takes me back to my big list of presentations. So the home button on the side is really useful. But just an example. This is a workshop I did on the weekend. Uh, but this is the results. So you can see three different questions and what was their rankings of the participants. And then this is an open question and I can scan through and see the difference, but it tells you how many people have done it. It's a really easy assessment tool to use. Um, it's free um, and it just sort of adds your repertoire. It's a nice one to add for an exit ticket or end of lesson.